Hey guys, today on Bucks Store Meats, we are going to go through and break down kind of a short little video for you guys on how to do venison bacon. We have did a venison bacon video in the past, but we're going to try to speed things up a little bit and just break down the simple steps. That way it will be a little easier for you guys to make it on your own. Here's our operation and we will break it down from there. Straight pork fat, we have four and a half pounds. Pork shoulder, we have eight pounds. Venison, of your choice, elk, deer, you have 12 and a half pounds. We'll be using imitation bacon from Walton's and a sure cure packet that comes along with it. This will do 25 pounds of meat. What I like to do is I like to grind up a few pieces of venison with a few pieces of pork and pork fat. That way it kind of all slowly mixes together. Now we're going to add in the bacon seasoning, the imitation bacon, no MSG. Dump that in there. Now you're going to use four cups of cold water. Already got two cups in here. Here's another two cups of cold water. And then your shirt here. Now, this is your choice if you want to add pepper or not, but we usually use three fourths of a cup of ground pepper. Now we're going to evenly pour it over the meat here. We'll get her all mixed up. Okay, we're going to spray our aluminum pans here just so it comes out of the pans a little easier because you will not smoke it in these pans. We switched over to our fine grind head and we'll feed it out of here. Okay, at this point, you're just gonna kinda pack it down into your pans. Make sure you get all those air pockets out and get it nice and tight in there. Alright, now that you made it this far, you're going to finish up filling up all the rest of your loaf pans and you'll put some saran wrap over it, throw it in the fridge, and let it cure for 12 to 24 hours, and then it'll be ready for the smoker tomorrow. It's day two, uh, bacon's been curing for about 24 hours now, so it's smoking day. We're going to set the smoker at 150 and just let it warm up for about half hour to an hour, and then we will put our bacon in. Alright, we're going to go ahead and spray down these racks just to keep the bacon from sticking to it, and we'll flip the bacon over on it. Okay, we're going to set our temperature of the smoker to 130. We're going to leave the damper wide open and we're going to set the timer for one hour. Okay, smoker's been running for about an hour. We're going to bump the temperature up to 160. We're going to close the damper halfway. Now you're going to add your wood chips. We're going to use apple wood chips for this smoke. We're going to bump temperature to 180 and set the timer for about two hours or until your internal temperature of your bacon is at 150 to 155 because you're always going to cook your bacon uh, in a skillet or however you want to cook it when you're ready to eat it. So. All right, so our internal temperature met 155, so time to take the bacon out. 
and we'll let it cool off. And then either tonight or else tomorrow morning, we will slice and package. So. Bacon's all cooled down now. Uh, we are gonna get ready to put in the slicer. Okay, we have the slicer set at a quarter inch. You can make it however thick you want to. There you have it, venison deer bacon, ready to be thrown in a skillet. Cook it for a few minutes on each side and enjoy. All right, we're gonna cook up a little bit of this deer bacon so you guys can see how long we cook it for and what it should look like when we're done. Been cooking on this one side for about three minutes. Remember, your bacon's already halfway cooked at 150 degrees, so it doesn't need to be in the skillet for too long. that. Ready to eat. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.